Are your period cramps unbearable? You may have heard that exercising during menstruation can help ease your pain. But sometimes you are just not in the condition for heavy exercise. It is no secret that yoga is a traditional practice to cure multiple pains. Women who have excruciating period cramps may become frantic and search for a remedy. The uterus contracts to shed the endometrium, which is the main cause of period pain. Once you give yoga asanas a try, they might be helpful in reducing menstruation pain as they encourage relaxing the uterus. Today I will be showing some easy yoga asanas to ease period cramps. So let's get started. Here are some yoga poses that can be used to lessen period pain. The first asana is Supta Baddha Konasana or reclining bound angle pose. This asana is a restorative one. You could use a bolster or a thick blanket as well as a strap if you like. This pose entails reclining on one's back with hips open. It aids in complete relaxation of the mind and body. It enhances overall circulation and stimulates the abdominal organs. The inner thighs are also stretched by it, releasing tightness in our thighs, which often occurs during our periods. It stimulates the abdominal organs like the ovaries and the bladder. Additionally, it helps relieve stress and mild depression, which could be caused due to hormonal fluctuations during your period. Now let's begin with the asana. Sit Place the soles of your feet together to form a triangle position. When you're ready, rest on your elbows and then slowly make your way to lying down on your back. Place your palms on your belly. Close your eyes and inhale. Feel the torso rise and exhale feeling the torso relax. Your chest and belly should inflate and deflate like a balloon here. Hold this for a minute. Your uterus will also relax instead of contracting if you are relaxed. Thus a wave of relief will spread through your body. Repeat this asana twice a day. This asana should not be practiced if you are on a full stomach or if you have acute knee pain. Our last asana for the day is Ustrasan or camel pose. It stretches the uterus thus encouraging it to contract less which relieves cramps. It stretches the front of the body including the ankles, the thighs, the hip flexors and the groin. It improves bad posture and stimulates the organs of your abdomen. Additionally, it can benefit respiratory conditions. If you have a neck or back ailment, avoid performing this asana. Now these were the benefits. Let's get started with the asana. Kneel on the ground with your thighs parallel to the ground and your knees hip width apart. Your feet should be flat on the ground at the top. Place your hands on your lower back to support your lumbar region. Begin rolling your shoulders back and arching your back. With your right hand, reach for the right heel. With your left hand, reach for the left heel. If your hand cannot reach the heel, then keep your hands on your lower back and just maintain the arch position. Look up into the sky and thrust your hips and chest forward, not your head. Avoid straining your neck, back and shoulders or arms. For 30 seconds maintain this posture and breathe naturally. Bring your torso back to your knees, take a breath and tilt your head forward. Slowly return your upper body to the beginning position. Continue to unwind. Repeat this asana once a day. Periodic discomfort can occasionally be painful. But these asanas are helpful for providing immediate pain relief. Beginners can also perform these. So give these a try if you want pain relief right now. I hope these asanas will help you. Until then, goodbye.